Welcome back to Albany County Fasteners, Fasteners 101. I'm Bob, and today we're going to talk about masonry fasteners. But before we get started, please subscribe, share, like the video. We will include links uh, to our products in the more section below. So let's get started. So I have here a variety of masonry fasteners that I'm going to run through. And um, I'm just going to work straight across the table here. Uh, this is just basically education for you of different types of fasteners that are used in masonry products. Um, the first one I have here is a masonry drop-in anchor. This is uh, mostly used in uh, poured concrete. Um, these are uh, commonly uh, uh, installed for high strength uh, uh, applications where you're using a bolt to actually drive into the uh, threaded drop-in. You can also get these in coil thread. So if you're a masonry contractor and you want to use coil threaded rod, which is a more coarse type thread, uh, we have those also. This tool is a set tool uh, to set the drop-in anchor. Um, I should also note that these drop-in anchors, you can also get them with a lip on them. This particular one it has no lip. Uh, and the reason for the lip would be to prevent the drop-in anchor from dropping too far into the concrete. A lot of contractors like that type of a, um, a drop-in anchor. Uh, once you have the drop-in anchor in the hole, you put this tool, you hit it with a hammer, and it sets it in position. Then you can drive in uh, or put your bolt, whatever you're fastening to the concrete. The next uh, masonry fastener I have uh, anchor, which is a lag screw anchor. So this uh, anchor, this is almost the same as putting in drop-in, it's just another type of drop-in. Um, once you have this in place in the concrete, you then can screw, screw in the lag screw, and then you can see the anchor starts to spread on both sides. And basically you're looking at pressure on the walls of the concrete hole. Both of these fasteners um, require you drilling a hole that is uh, equal to the circumference of the uh, drop-in. So if this was a half inch outside diameter, you drill in a half inch hole. Same thing with this drop-in not the size of the bolt that you're going to put in there. The next I have are uh, masonry uh, or a term used tapcons, uh, concrete screws um, for affixing uh, wood to a block wall, uh, wood to concrete floor, um, metal, whatever you want to fasten uh, angles, metal steel angles, many different applications. These are the, the probably the most used uh, masonry anchor out there. Uh, you can get these in hex head and Phillips. I'm showing you Phillips head, Phillips flathead. Obviously if you use a Phillips flathead you can um, countersink these into the the wood so that the head doesn't stick up if you have that type of application. But these are the most used masonry anchors uh, on the market. Next I have is what they call a threaded rod SAMI. Um, SAMIs uh, are used for overhead application typically. You would put these, you drill a hole in your deck above, you would drive this in with a driver, uh, a nut driver or a socket into the concrete and then you would put a piece of threaded rod in here and it would hang down. You cut the threaded rod to the size 
uh, that you're trying to hang to, and that would be um, the use of a, a SAMI. A SAMI is a brand name out there, uh, but there are many other companies that make this product. Um, the next is we have is a hammer driver pin. This is mostly used as, as I've seen these used is, uh, is fastening plywood uh, to a concrete floor. So if you have a basement, you want to put wood flooring down, you want to put a subfloor down, well, you can use this anchor for that purpose. Uh, so how this uh, anchor works is that you would drill a hole to the size of this anchor diameter uh, and then right through the wood to the concrete, drop, drop this into its flush to the, uh, the plywood and then hammer down the nail. That nail becomes flush with the top and you're done. It's anchored to the concrete. It's a very quick way to fasten plywood to many different surfaces, to walls, many other things. Um, it's a very handy uh, uh, anchor. The next one I have is a toggle wing for hollow wall. So if you know you have a hollow um, block wall and the block is not filled with concrete, you can use one of these in a hollow wall. These are also widely used in drywall, hanging um, different products. This is not a heavy weight um, anchor. So I would not use this to hang your TV off a drywall wall. Okay, if you have a flat screen TV that weighs, um, you know, I'm just gonna use a number, 60 pounds, 70 pounds, this is not the proper anchor for that. Uh, it'll probably just rip the, rip, rip the drywall right off the wall. And that has um, a combo Phillips head, so you can use a uh, flat screwdriver or uh, a Phillips screwdriver to drive that in. The next one I have is a uh, double expansion shield. This is made for brick and block. I think mostly this is used in, in brick. Uh, how this works is you put the screw in. Uh, when you drive the screw in, uh, it starts to pull on the two ends. And then you can see there, it expands. And it'll only expand so much. The reason why they use these in, in brick and block is not to crack the brick. A lot of times, if you use a wedge anchor or a sleeve anchor, the brick will crack. And the end result is you don't have a good um, holding anchor. So possibly the anchor could pull out depending on what you're hanging on the substrate. So um, you can see how that works to give you an idea. So if you have a brick wall in your house and you want to hang something from it, uh, this is a good anchor to use for that. The next I have here uh, is a sleeve anchor. Um, this one has a knot. There are different varieties of sleeve anchors. These are just the parts separating the different parts to a sleeve anchor. This is the complete one. So this would just slide on to here and it's put back on. All right, that's how it goes together. Um, this application also is made for brick or block, can be used in concrete. It is not as strong as using a wedge anchor. Um, so the strength of, of this is for lightweight, not heavyweight materials. This here is another sleeve anchor. Uh, this here is a combo head. You have um, basically a Phillips or a flathead screwdriver you can drive this in. And this is basically countersunk. So if you have a piece of wood that you're fastening something to a concrete surface, this will be flat on the surface uh, versus having uh, a sleeve anchor with a nut on the top protruding 
uh, on the top of the, the wood or metal or whatever you're fastening. And the last one that I have here is uh, what we call a wedge anchor. Okay, this is also a very highly used anchor out there. Uh, wedge anchor, basically you drill a hole in the concrete to the circumference uh, of the wedge anchor. If it's quarter inch, you drill a quarter inch hole. If it's three eighths, uh, you drill a three eighths hole. And how this works is when you drill the hole in the concrete, and you lock down on this nut, it starts to pull up this wedge here that, that goes around the bottom diameter, uh, starts to wedge in to this um, uh, end, and then it tightens up and it doesn't pull out. This is the most uh, strongest concrete anchor uh, to be used uh, as far as pull out goes. And that's our demonstration of wedge anchors, uh, different hollow wall anchors uh, for masonry products. Thanks for watching. There you go. Subscribe, like, comment. Visit us at albanycountyfasteners.com for 50,000 SKUs right off the rack, ready to ship. We look forward to seeing you in our next video.